it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I am up on the Cut to You blog today, and it is July, and I know a lot of people do Christmas in July, and I just felt like I needed a little Christmas in my life. Um, by this point, uh, I will have been to the North Pole in Alaska. So there will be more Christmas pictures coming to Scrapbook because we visited the North Pole, which is super exciting. But these pictures are of uh, my kids. Uh, I, I say my kids because my son's girlfriend, we've pretty much adopted her at this point. And, uh, and she makes gingerbread houses with us. So I knew when they made these gingerbread houses that I needed to use this gingerbread cup file. I backed it with, uh, a six by eight paper pad. I did use some white glitter cardstock to do the snow on the roof as well as the chimney and it's so cool. I just love it. And then on the doorknob and on the top of the roof, there were these little circles. And it just made me think of the kids putting the gumdrops and the little pieces of candy on their roofs. You can kind of see it in the picture. And I was like, Enamel dots are perfect for that. So not only do you back your cut file, but you can also basically top your cut file. So I put all of those enamel dots on the top like little pieces of candy and in addition to the one on the doorknob and it's so cute. I love this little gingerbread house. I need to I need to recreate this in a real gingerbread house. <laughs> I need some sparkly frosting. I know that you can buy like glitter spray uh, because when my friend made cupcakes for my son's graduation, uh, the colors are blue and gold. So she bought some gold like it's almost like spray paint, but it's like edible. So uh, she had put those on some of the cupcakes, which is super fun. So now that my cute little gingerbread house is complete, I backed my photos in some white cardstock and I am trimming down this paper from Photo Play. And I am going to put my photos cascading down the right side of my layout and then my gingerbread house right there to the left and I didn't like my gingerbread house kind of floating on the layout so I felt like I needed to give it a little bit of a landing spot so I actually pulled out some ribbon and I used to use a ton of ribbon uh, back in the day I even had uh, the ribbon holders with all the spools on them and ribbon, ribbon and buttons and paper flowers. Like, like that was totally my jam. So I do have all of my Christmas stuff in one iris container. So that's where that ribbon sits. So perfect. I pulled it out. I'm making a little ledge and then I'm going to go through my ephemera and see if there's anything that I want to add. I found this reindeer and I thought, oh my gosh, how cute is he on top of the house? So no Santa, just the reindeer. And I am looking for a title. Um, I kind of want a pre-made title because I'm kind of lazy. So I pull out this one that says yum which totally works. Not that we eat gingerbread houses. Do you guys eat your gingerbread houses? We just make them and they sit up. I mean, the kids eat some of the candy like as they're making it, but I don't think they actually 
have ever eaten a gingerbread house. I know they smashed one one year. It just didn't really want to sit up. So after they were done making it, they totally smashed it. <laughs> but I don't, I don't really think they've ever eaten them. So most of my ephemera is um, kind of just in a baggie because I've had so many pieces that it's just time to combine them all. And the main Christmas layouts that I do are my December daily, but I do like a few 12 by 12 in the regular album. So it doesn't look like, oh, there's a whole year and then poof, gone for December. So I do try to put a few, a few different layouts in there. So this will, this will go in that album. And so I find some pine cones and a recipe card, a little cake, a candy cane. Um, I'm also going to find a mug and then that chipboard piece for my journaling. I do decide to go back and grab the yum. That is going to be my title. I'm going to put that on the uh, ribbon. And then I also had found a gold kind of acetate little house and Christmas tree and I felt like it looked perfect just behind the gingerbread house so I've got some gold going on so I decided to pull in those gold stars to go up at the top as well and then here's where I just feel like I need one more little thing down at uh, the bottom of this photo and it's going to be this cute little cup of hot cocoa not that that's what we're doing, but I like it and I think it works good. It's all kind of food-ish related. So that is going to do it for me today. Make sure that you check out the description box because I will have this amazing cut file linked. And just remember, you can put stuff on top of your cut file as well as back your cut file um, with just about anything. I love those. They do look like little candies. The red ones look like little red hots. So there is my final layout. If you have any questions, leave them down below and remember to wear your crown. We'll see you next time. Bye.